Dada, Pakistan seems to be the, not just the informed side, but also you know the best side on paper, maybe with all of their uh, all of the cogs of the wheel working so efficiently together. But look what happened yesterday. Lasit Malinga wrecked their party. That was the, that is the unpredictable uh, side of Pakistan as well. But a cred credit should be given to Lasit Malinga. Who do you think is the fiercest competition for India? See, one day cricket and I think when I look at the three teams, uh, they're all equally equally strong. It's who plays well on that particular day. I know Pakistan can be dangerous. I thought chasing 296 and getting close uh, was a good effort. Uh, I thought Mizbah at that stage when he was well set, uh, probably picked the wrong bowler to, to get runs. Eight, eight runs and over in, in the last four or five overs in one day cricket is not that much. I think if, if Mizbah would have stayed on, Pakistan would have won the game yesterday. So from that point of view, I think three, are, three teams are equally strong. Uh, Pakistan has got a very good bowling lineup. Uh, their batting in one day cricket is probably the weaker of all the three, but their bowling lineup is the best of all the three. Sri Lanka have a very good batting side, but I'm not sure about their bowling lineup, especially the spin department. Murli Dharan has gone, there's no Rangana Herat, uh, so the spin department is a bit weak. From, from India's point of view, as, as Bori has said, the middle order is a bit weak, the bowling has been on and off fragile. So if I look at the strength and weaknesses of all those three teams, I think it will be very difficult for me to say who is stronger. And, and that's why I believe all three of them, and even Bangladesh, who will start on the same footing. And, and as I said, whoever plays well on that particular day is going to win. All right, Virat Kohli believes the wicket will ease out towards the second innings. Dada, before I take comments from you on uh, Virat Kohli as a leader, the other day we were discussing him being made test captain as well. Let's just first take a look at the playing 11 for India. Rane, Raidu and Dinesh Karthik, the middle order that they've uh, chosen to trust with. Uh, the good thing is that uh, they have included... Uh, Varun Aaron in the side, Mohammad Shami and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, the other two paces. And of course, Ravinder Jadeja and R. Ashwin as the spinners. Are your thoughts on the playing 11? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's fine. Uh, obviously, they want a bit of pace against Bangladesh. Varun Arun who can use the short ball against the Bangladeshi batsman, which has always been a bit of their weakness. And that's the reason they don't go uh, and become one of the top test cricket sides in the world because the short ball is an issue. Obviously, as I, uh, we discussed the team day before yesterday and they've gone with five bowlers. Uh, but I would have actually wanted to see Chetishwar Pujara in this squad. Uh, I agree with Boria, he would have given solidity to the Indian Indian batting, especially with the inexperienced middle order. But uh, I can understand where Virat is coming from. You know, obviously, uh, Ambati Raidu was in the one-day team before Chetishwar Pujara, so he's probably gone on with the policy of if you are in the squad before someone else, you would obviously get the first opportunity. So that's the reason probably Ambati Raidu has got the opportunity. But I think Chetishwar Pujara, with time will become an important member in this Indian one day squad. So the quicker, the earlier he plays, it's better for Team India, better for him as well. Right, he has expressed his uh, want of wanting to be part of India's plans for the 2015 World Cup. He says he wants to play that World Cup and be in the scheme of things. Well, didn't get a game today, but uh, as Dada was saying, Borea, huge chance for Rahane, for Raidu and Dinesh Karthik. I mean, it's a huge chance for many of these young men to cement their place and, you know, make themselves uh, go higher in the totem pole for the 2015 World Cup. Absolutely, you know, one person's injury or one person missing out is the other person's opportunity. That's the way cricket goes. And, and several people in the past have grabbed these opportunities with both hands. But I, I, I've said this, I agree with sort of entirely. Do you see Cheteshwar Pujara in that starting lineup for the 2015 World Cup? Yes, we do. So in that case, get Cheteshwar Pujara into the lineup as quickly as possible. I, I also understand where Virat's coming from. Raidu wasn't too bad in New Zealand, so he gets an opportunity. But Pujara, sooner than later, will have to be blooded. Ajinkya Rahane did well in the test matches, got great potential. I would absolutely want to see Ajinkya Rahane fired. You know, it's, it's an important tournament for India. This fragile middle order, without a Dhoni, without the enforcer slash finisher, can this Indian middle order finish games? This will answer a lot of questions and will perhaps also ease pressure on Dhoni going forward, going ahead into the World Cup. So it's a big tournament, Shivani, a big tournament and lots of questions will be, will be answered over the next few days. Yes, and a crucial, crucial tournament for Dinesh Karthik. Remember, you know, he's got his chance now with uh, uh, MS Dhoni sitting out. Uh, we don't want him to perform well and, you know, not get his chances later. So he really has to make his case. The other final comments about Virat Kohli as the leader. What are you expecting? 
to see from him that will be different from MS Dhoni? What are you hoping he'll do differently from MS Dhoni? I've said before, Shivani, it's not right to compare Dhoni with uh, Virat and not right to even think of uh, comparing their strategies on a, on a, on a cricket field. They'll, they will both have different ways of playing cricket matches. Uh, that's been the case. Different captains look at it differently, uh, but the end result has to, be, has to be the most important thing India winning. So Virat Kohli has had his short, short stints as captain of India and I think he's not done too badly. So hopefully he can, he can do well, he can get runs himself and India can win. When you win, every strategy looks good. When you don't win, obviously you get criticised. That's the rule of the game. So hopefully he does a good job for India. Yes, he does have a very good uh, record indeed as captain. Seven wins out of eight matches he's captained, including a whitewash as well. Uh, Borya, final comments from you. India or Bangladesh? Pick one side. India. Victory has many fathers. Defeat is an orphan. I want to see India victorious, Virat victorious for a start. Otherwise, it's a bad start to the campaign. None of us would want that. Agree with Saurav India, firm favourites, but don't underestimate Bangladesh. All right. On that note, we'll have to thank our guests, Saurav Ganguly and Borya Majumdar. It seems like the verdict is India, no matter how much Bangladesh have progressed. And of course, they've given us a scare in the past as well. But this side still has the metal to beat the Tigers in their own den. Keep watching headlines today. We'll keep getting you all the action from the Asia Cup. For the moment, it's goodbye from me.